Meanwhile, Libyan prosecutor al-Sadiq al sor says that those responsible for the Derna Dam disaster will face criminal charges. So far, the dam's administration and the authority responsible for water resources have been summoned. The presidential council has called for investigations into the dam's collapse. CGTN's Jane Keogh has the details. As Libya struggles to come to terms with the floods tragedy that struck Dana City and other eastern parts of the country, the public prosecutor in the region is preparing to file charges against any government officials who may have been negligent. Investigations are underway to establish how the funds allocated for the maintenance of the two dams near Dana were spent. There have been reports that the two dams had cracks and required maintenance before the tragedy that killed thousands. I reassure the citizens that whoever made a mistake or was negligent, the prosecution will certainly take firm measures, file a criminal case against him and put him on trial. I want to take this opportunity and ask the families of those who have missing persons to go to the committee appointed by the Attorney General to the headquarters designated for it. Current and former officials will be investigated to establish if they were negligent. Those found culpable will be charged in court. Analysts say corruption, political infighting and poor maintenance of public infrastructure left Libya unprepared to handle such a disaster. Major General Ahmed Almosmari of the Eastern-based Libyan National Army says that tsunami-like flooding had devastated many towns and villages. Regarding the population, we are talking about around 1.2 million people living in this densely populated area. This area hosts five major cities. It also hosts around 10 big villages, nearly cities, plus around 10 small villages and big residential areas in the countryside. Libya's eastern-based government has thanked countries providing aid to those affected by the Storm Daniel disaster. It has also restricted entry to the swamped city of Dana, as such efforts through mud and hollowed-out buildings continue. Over 10,000 people are still missing and are feared dead, following the tragedy that has claimed over 11,000 lives. Jane Keo, CGTN.